Hello, my name is Farhan. I am from Indonesia. I'm currently studying artificial intelligence in JCFS. Hello, I go by Lania. I'm a sophomore, meaning a second year student here at JCFS. And my major is AI or artificial intelligence. JCFS, which is our college, it stands for College of Future Studies. So here, what uh, we are taught essentially uh, is about future strategy and a management regarding our fields of study. So we have three fields of study, AI, artificial intelligence, cognitive science and data science. So of course we have classes that are directly related to our major, but we also have uh, management related courses and other electives which prepare us for like a broader spectrum uh, for our career. And to that end, I think one of the most exciting parts of our program is that we have a guaranteed exchange program. The country that we are aiming to go to next year is Germany. Since I've been studying in South Korea, so going to Germany, I think will give um, a different perspective about AI and also other opportunities. I'm hoping to maybe get my hands on robots and learn more about 3D technology, like 3D printing and virtual reality, those kind of things. We of course plan to uh, learn a lot of things related to our major, get hands-on research experience, uh, work with a smart factory lab. But apart from that, I think being in a, in a different country and studying abroad, I think the most important aspect would be to know the particular culture of that country, understand the perspective of the people of that country. So even in terms of tech, different countries and different societies have different res responses to, some, to, the, to future tech, for example, or to any new, new advancement in technology. So understanding that uh, perspective, broadening my horizons and like um, actually like, you know, if, if you are immersed in, in a particular country's culture and you feel a sense of belonging to that culture, I think that's very important of, and a very enriching experience. A part about my major is that we have this thing called workshop. So it's basically uh, something that we do every Monday where we gather up with our counselor, Professor Cyril, and then we will work on our assignments that, it, that are due that week and maybe if we need any help, we can contact him. This kind of independent learning session that we have once a week which is of course a non-credit class, but we get a lot of time to interact with our classmates. When we are given our independence, I guess we grow to be more able to take care of ourselves and just prepare to go into the outside world where no one is actually watching us. So one of my favorites from this sem would be discrete math, which was extremely difficult and extremely interesting to learn at the same time. Also, we learned SQL in database and we learned qualitative research in a special subject that we have uh, that's uh, meant for lab classes. Our GCFS program, we have this summer semester where we learn from one of our professors on building a robot, so it's really practical. The best thing about studying technology in South Korea, I guess because South Korea is one of the top when it comes to AI and this kind of things, we can have access to the facilities that we need to learn technology. For example, we had an excursion to Daejeon Science Museum. We had some experiences with VR and we saw, and we saw those kind of things. And also in the future, I assume that we're going to have more practical classes, so that's also going to help. I think uh, one of the main things that distinguishes South Korea from other places in the world, other countries, and especially my country, is the fact that people implement technologies as soon as it's developed. So there's no such like two, three years waiting after this this new brand, new te technology, or like future tech is out. So here, uh, from buying food at restaurants to getting on buses and like scanning our stuff, which I think is kind of harder for the older generations. I think uh, since all of this are in place, it's extremely convenient to go about and everything is extremely easy. Say compared to my country, like even legal stuff or like um, say paying my health insurance, for example, I can just do it on Kakao and it's, it's extremely convenient. Since I'm still in the start of this project, I'm looking forward to see how this um, GCFS will like grow in the future. And maybe in the future, I will look back and say that I was a part of that stepping stone <laughs> in the first time, so yeah.